Greeting interwebs, it is Jackie K here, welcoming you for some more Let's Go Eevee. And you know, just in case, I should probably record a backup. Should have also checked my computer space before recording a backup, but uh, we'll, we'll worry about we'll cross that bridge when we come <laughs> to it, shall we? Anyways, last time, I'm sure we played Let's Go Eevee, but last time tonight, we did some max rate of entering and Pokemon Sword and Shield to warm things up, and <laughs> it almost was a problem because it was so fun, I was having a hard time stopping. Especially because now we gotta go through Rock Tunnel again. The good news is I probably got about halfway through it before using the escape rope, including finding some of the trainers along the way. So it should take us less time to get up there than usual. Now, while we're, we have this Geodude, I don't think I've actually caught a Geodude, so, for the sound effect decks, let's just get a Geodude on here and go for it. Now I got this weird feeling in the back of my mind that we did actually catch one of these already. Oh yeah, Hoopalele's evolves! I forgot we did that last time! And got to teach them all the really cool and fun TMs. This recording session is going to be a bit more fun than I thought it was. Let's hop into it. Alright. And... Tunnel down here. Oh! Hello, King is gone. We definitely haven't got you in the sound effect decks before. Is it worth it? Maybe not. But, uh, who... What kind of sport would I be if I didn't at least try to catch one of these? Alright, are you gonna be the one that leads us to victory? Oh wow, first try. And then I got Tina Eddie, and like, now I kinda wanna throw this King of Sky on the team somewhere. I think I'll look at more into that later though. Alright, um, gonna try to avoid everything else just cause, I mean, honestly, I wanna spend as little time in Rock Tunnel as possible. I definitely don't want a whole nother video of Rock Tunnel. I'm kinda wondering if I should, like, try to fight some of the trainers that I skipped along the way. Not that I would remember which ones I skipped, but at least I can pick up some of the items I might have skipped along the way. And trying to trying to think of some comparisons to older games I could pull for this. Props to the Pokemon Company and all that. I guess it'd be fair to give credit to Game Freak. I think they're. I think this is still a game that they made. Even though it's technically a spin-off. But yeah, yeah, like, shoutouts to them for, in this game for making it that, giving you the pop-up as soon as you enter the cave of, Hey! If you use Not Flash here, it'll make things a lot easier. Do you want to use Not Flash? Instead of, like, having to go into your Pokemon, select the Pokemon that knows Flash, and then pull it off. Good on them. Good on them. Other than that, Rock Tunnel is just a giant cave. No, not even much better than Mount Moon, from what I recall. It's a little bit of a shame, because, like, they definitely had the potential to make one more... At least one of them more interesting and different from the other. Because, like, it's literally, like, based around the moon and Pokemon that live up there. So they could they kind of, like, made a spacey atmosphere for Mount Moon. I guess it's something... I guess if we were making Pokemon for the very first time here in 2020, that would be a good way to go about it. And I'm just loving that Hoopalele is just like clean sleeping all the Pokemon here. It's always fun when a Pokemon besides Jenna Girls gets a chance to shine and just obliterate the competition like this. Man, this is fun. Like, I don't think we're going to get access to Magikarp in the wild for a long time. Speaking of getting access to things early, kind of wondering like how I should implement the Pokemon Go Park into this playthrough. If I should do it at all, even, but we can worry about that when we get a little closer to the moment. All right. Uh, 
But did I fight you? I... Mm, honestly, I didn't want to catch you. But it's tiny. I think that means more EXP. I'll throw one ball and see what happens. Don't think we got this on the call decks. And I get the feeling we're not going to get this on the call decks. Because I don't want to waste all my great balls on this stupid thing. Especially when I can't throw the Pokeball at it for all life intensive inside and outside of me. Like, this go bat is not worth it. And yet, I persist and insist. Ball, throw. Ball, throw. I mean, we gotta have at least one episode of these sorts of shenanigans, and otherwise we're not really playing Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee, are we? So, this is this is it, I call it. And this also gives me a firm reminder that I should probably wear the wrist strap. You know, just in case. I'll do it after this battle. <laughs> yeah, I'm at the point of just calling catching Pokemon battles. You thought I wasn't gonna get that in time, did ya? Alright. I'm not quite sure which way I want to hold it, but this way works. And I guess technically old bat is new, so yeah, technically new for the catch decks. This Pokeball plus sound effect decks. Alright. Moving onwards. Really think that we should clear Mount Moon before the end of all this. And I thought this was a new way. I, I'll admit I kind of doubted myself for a second. Eventually we're going to get back to the part where we left off on. Um, be honest, I'm just as much of in the dark as you guys are. At least the people who weren't watching the last stream. Or even the last episode. One of these trainers are going to be new though. And when we find that new trainer, we'll know we're caught up. A bag of Stardust. Stardust still acts like a selling item in this game, and not like the way it does in Pokemon Go, right? Yeah, I guess, it, I mean, it makes sense that they would call it a bag of Stardust and not Stardust, because it is a bag, a bag of it. But it's just the fact they never call it that in any other game. Even Pokemon Go. That kind of just made me like, huh... Why now? It's kind of like the. It's kind of similar to like how they changed some moves like Thundershock to be two words when it was just a single word for a long period of time. Yeah, I get the only reason they did that in the first place was character limits. So when technology advanced enough to actually have all the characters you need to make a f full sentence, I guess it would make sense to separate the two moves. But I feel like they had that technology for so long and yet they waited. A little longer to actually do it. I'm not sure what to tell you. I mean, the internet is a vast place full of all sorts of knowledge, and lots of people that are fascinated to learn everything they can about it. Like, there's what there's at least one person out there willing to learn everything they can about something, no matter how specific it may be. And that's why the internet is just so powerful with so much information. This is probably a good time to bring up too, at least when I'm streaming this, maybe not by the time we get it up. But it is, I guess it's good general knowledge to know, even though like current events may make it more important now than later. Misinformation can be on the internet too. Pe not, people can make mistakes, and by the time they realize their mistake was made, other people may have picked up that information and not be able to get back to the people that put the information out in the first place. Now it's just power. And like, this is a combination of two quotes that really fits this. Now it's just power. And with great power become, comes great responsibility. I don't know, I just got a feeling that there's a hidden item in here, but Jenna Girl's not reacting at all. Maybe there was, yeah, you know what it is? There probably was an item in there before, and I picked it up. 
All right, how much? I thought when we fought that trainer, we were finally caught back up. Okay, we talked to Pokeball Guy before. We gotta be close. Hello there. Why did you look like a golem to me? I think my, my eyes must be going crazy. Do I really have plenty of Pokeballs too? I, I guess I have 79. And if I just start using them instead of the Great Balls, we can make this work out. A one, a two, a three, and a click. Shoot, I think I forgot to put that up to Mike. Maybe because he could still hear it from here, though. Ah, oh, well, if I catch another one, I'll put it up to the mic just in case. Okay, so I apparently fought you, but just glanced over this item because I was just in such a rush to get out of here as soon as possible. Oh, why did I run right into that guy? Oh, it's huge. That means we gotta catch it, right? Probably not. But I'll throw a ball at it just to see. Just to see if we get it. It's okay, guys. I thought we had it, too. I mean, this one's an excellent throw. So, maybe this one will catch it? Possibly. I know my patience are thin if I'm already tempted to run after the third ball, but you are trying my patience, Mr. Rhyhorn. Please get into the Pokeball. Ah, no. While I'm looking for conversation topics, let's dig a little bit more into the psyche. Oh, wow, Jen and Girl is learning Double Edge already? At, like, level 25? I mean, it's definitely stronger than Swift, but at the same time... I don't really see the point of recoil damage. Mm, attack is technically better than special attack. And... I think I'm gonna replace Swift. Like, I can think of situations where it would be more useful to have. But it's so situational, I think we can get away with just raw power. Plus I get the feeling that we're gonna replace Double Edge with something in the future. Alright. Onwards with adventure. Mars started us to sell. Nice. I think what it is is just the fact that like the bag is lowercase and the stardust is uppercase just like it feels like it throws off the whole central structure. The structure of the sentence would probably have been a better way to word that. But alas, we are here, we are finding this last. Alas. <laughs> I said that because of the rhyme, but when I said it out loud it kind of turned into a... it sounded more like a pun. And, ah, I'm sorry, I couldn't resist just getting enjoyment out of that. Alright. Oh, faked out. I just realized Hoopla is getting a bit worn away, and we have been using it quite a bit. Um, let me see if I can, like, one-shot this. And if I can, we can probably get it out later. Okay, if that was a crit, then I don't really got anything to worry about. And the burn will hopefully just assure that I'm never got anything to fear from this Meowth. Not sure what took that to take the game so long to load that particular time. All right, now stick to the game plan of swapping Hoopalele out of here, so we can get some other Pokemon some chance to shine in the whole EXP department, or more so screen time. I say that, but this would be a perfect time to actually keep Hoopalay out there. I mean, Tinetti Tine will be good too. You did great, Hoopalay. I really wish I could use you more, but I mean, this is not the Hoopalay show. You kind of, I'm pretty sure you had that last time we played the game. Alrighty. Unfortunately, the only ground move you have is Dig. Maybe it'll be dumb to do Quick Attack twice. One can dream. Oh, goody gun. <laughs> I think that's the smoothest battle our Diglett has ever had. 
Bravo, Tina Eddie. Bravo. You look cute and harmless. Was I ever wrong? Also, I should probably swap Pokemon now, so Hoopa Lily actually gets a chance to shine. And actually, I I don't think I noticed me having anyone out of their Pokeball. What an utter shame of me not showcasing a particular feature this game has. Oh, I'm sorry, Tina Eddie. I just swapped you out so you can get some time and fun in the battle scene. And we're already at the end. And we never have to go through this cave again, especially because I made sure I did a clean sweep of it the last time we were through here. Alright, so... That has item. Okay, I guess, you know, you're gonna get some time to battle yet, after all. Mm -hmm. We hikers are natural at climbing mountains. This reminds me, I don't want to say it because it, it probably will be some dialogue we run into later, but that guy just reminds me of this one NPC in the Pokemon game that goes like, I'm a proud hiker, I can climb mountains, you're like, you had to go through this cave? Well, I climbed over the mount to this cave, I climbed over the cave, because I am just a smart kick butt, forgot the right word for that other word, randomly. <laughs> Alternative. Uh, sure, you can just keep missing moves. Oh, okay, the fact you're biting is a little scary, but considering I did over half your health last time, I think we're good. Well, I'm thinking of other things to talk about hikers, like... I still... It's still fun to look back at the fact of just how, like... The theme song of a hiker from one particular game, like the one game that actually gave NPCs different music, for the pure second that they were gonna join them, it became a freaking meme. <laughs> of all the things that could become a meme in our society, the hiker theme? It's still fun to look back on that just and just think of, wow, that actually took off as a meme. I mean, like, if anyone can make something like that take off of some meme, Chugga Conroy is definitely <laughs> the person to do it. But, maybe it's just because that on top of... That whole thing started right around when TRG Coliseum was the thing. So, then you started up the Hiker Dance, like, theme. It became a thing for their charity stream, too. Because it was so close to when the charity stream started. I guess that kind of helped... The meme is, um, meme is um, I was trying to say, despite it not being a real word, of the hiker dance. Because, like, Jack Conroy started up and brought it to his friends, and they all, like, did it for the extra live stream, so it was exposed to not just Chuck Conroy's viewer base, but all of the, all the people that were running that TRG Coliseum charity stream. It's kind of just, like, fun to think about this way that things become memes sometimes. Like Spongebob, can we like talk about just how weird it is that like this one particular show from the 90s just become like the center place of all sorts of memes? To be fair, like Spongebob earns it because like not only is it eh, at least the old stuff is good. Like I'm not gonna be one of those hipsters that say that like Spongebob became Simpsons and like started becoming bad after a little bit. Because I honestly, like, don't really even have... I feel like most of my exposure to Spongebob these days is just through the meme culture. Like, it was something that would come up on TV every now and then. And I watched it as a kid. But I can't really, like, think of too many situations. T my memories with TV in general is a bit odd when I'm a kid and all that. No, don't mind me. I just realized I forgot to... Mute the Twitch alerts. Well, I have them paused. <laughs> Not to jump into another tangent, but I don't know if I really had a chance to actually showcase it here. But I've done a new setup to like assure that I can still live stream on Twitch. But, st but for the sake of YouTube audience, specifically when I'm recording, make sure that there's no alerts that pop up, like fun, no fun notifications, like. 
I can see how it could take away from something that I'm trying to present as a let's play. Should I announce the stream elements for allowing me to do that, though? Because through all that, we were able to... I was able to just, like, literally install something on the OBNS, my streaming software in general, and just turn it into this really cool layout. Like, it's even better now, because, like, I can actually see chat on OBNS. OB... I don't know why I keep saying OBNS when it's just OBS. It's almost like I mix up OBS and the whole Pokemon... And the place in Pokemon XD. No idea why. I mean, I guess it makes sense because they're so similar, but it's a weird, it's a weird combination of things that get mixed up so frequently. <laughs> and yet here I am talking about it. But yeah, like I've been enjoying lots of stream elements stuff, and I'm certain I haven't even made full application out of all of it because, like, I'm sure there's fun things I could do with chat with the bot thing. Woo, shout out to Todd for, like, living so I don't get sad. <laughs> shout out to Todd for breaking the laws of battle physics so I don't get sad. The true power of friendship, people. Now, how long have I been going? Like, it feels a little short, but, like... Um, we'll clear out all the battles here. And then call it apart. You know who really hasn't had a chance to come out at all? And probably shouldn't? Gambalea, aka the funny fairy man. And my first thought was to say, I don't know why I've just been so much today, pretty much calling every little thing the blank funny man. Or the blank funny. The blank funny blank. The sad, but the issue is, I know exactly why. I just don't want to admit it. <laughs> no reason to gamble today, because we have an electric type move. So why not just use that against the water instead of setting us up for disappointment? Don't worry, I'm sure we'll get an opportunity to use Metronome very soon. Like against the Santa Slash. Wait, did I just call Santa Slash Santa Slash? What the heck is up? with me today. Uh, have I talked about how, like, Sand Slash's face just looks like an optical illusion? And, like, there was this one time where, like, I was... I... T I don't think I actually tweeted to Niantic, but I was really thinking about it. I think I might have, like, tweeted it to, like, the Pokemon Go podcast. Like, people who run Pokemon po Go podcasts. Not because there is the Pokemon Go podcast, but there's also... Pokemon Go Radio, and GoCast, and Lure It Up, and Pokemon Radio. Did I say Pokemon Podcast? Or Pokemon Radio already? Possibly. Yeah, like, I definitely tweeted out to someone that, like, I thought Santa Flesh's face was glitched out because it looked like the left side was exactly the same as the right side. To the point where I thought I was glitched out. Wait, did I just get Fizzer? Gambalea! You're on fire! <laughs> You're freaking getting Fisher, but also getting the KO. Mind you, I'm pretty sure that's a move that like is more accurate the more the higher your level is compared to the opponent, but it couldn't have been that much of a difference. I'm 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 just happy that we actually got to see the Fisher animation today, people. Cause that is a fun animation to watch. I'm just gonna be real with y'all. And I mean, why not? We fought everyone else outside of here. And we have the health to spare. At least I thought we had the health to spare. Well, Gambalea, I'll leave it up to you. And we can always rely back on 69. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> if that doesn't pull through. Wow, way to make myself look like a nerd as friend of the nerd. Okay, Gambalea. I know you just probably used up all your luck for the rest of the night <laughs> on that fissure. But let's try it again. Oof. Oof. You do not want Gambalea to succeed, don't you? 
I have a feeling we get a physical move right after we get burned. Um... I was gonna say, maybe, I'm not sure where to stay in or not. Just let Gameplay go down, but... Oh yeah, I was stuck in Frash, a move that just keeps on going and going and going and going and going. So I couldn't switch out, even if I wanted to. Now, I know Hoopalay is a little bit weak. But Hoopalay is strong, Hoopalay is fast, Hoopalay has a water type move. There shouldn't be any problem here. Shoutouts to them giving us Scald. This early on in the game, though. I'm so happy that Hoopalay has a move. I think the part of the reason I never used a Gyarados before in the main series games, or just console games in general. It's just piffly because, like, you get Gyarados to evolve it, but it takes forever for it to learn a water type move. At least in at least in the early on games where I actually used it. Oh, hi Cubone. Don't call disturbing things in the Pokemon Tower. Okay, I was hoping you could at least tell me a little bit more about what that random cube on that just ran in before. Uh, spoilers, but I can't, I don't know if we've been introduced, told that that's actually... Oh, no, no, I'm going to stop myself there because I just remember. Yes, we it is spoilers. Because, no, we haven't been introduced to that part of the plot yet. So, I mean, I know this is like a remake of... This game itself has been out for like at least two years at this point already. Feels like it's been even longer. But also it's a remake of like a game that came out in the 90s, which don't make me say how long ago the 90s have been. It'll make me die a little inside. <laughs> and there's already enough stuff to worry about at this place. Alright, so how's our party looking? Because I'm kind of wondering if it's time to spice it up a little. Naturally, like... Oh, wow. I can't... It's a good thing I checked the time, because I didn't realize those extra battles already bop us up to... Closer to half an hour than to 20 minutes. So I'm going to end off here. We did get to a new area, and it'd be best to, like, wait until the next one to start exploring it. So thank you all for tuning in for some Let's Go Eevee adventures. Uh, next time I guess we'll follow that Cubone and I guess procrastinate into the Pokemon Tower and see what's up with it. Until then, see y'all later.